Hey guys, today I'm going to be playing a solo of, you got it, Red Rising. Boom, baby, I already got it set up, ready to go. Here's the catch, I've now lost about 10 times on normal. Um, it's not easy. Uh, the automo automa keeps just whooping my butt. Um, and normal means if it's matching card, so in this case if it's odd, um, it's going to get 6 points per card, and non-matching is... Three points per card up to 20 total, okay? But I'm going to actually play on easy, although I guess it doesn't really matter because you can just change what you give the Automa at the end of the game. Um, but, all right, let's get started. I am playing as Jupiter, which allows me to move up the fleet track if I gain the Sovereign token. And let's see what we got. All right, guys, I'm trying. I'm going to try and make it a quick game. Uh, so I'm going to assume you already know how to play. Okay, so I got Theodora. You may move the bottom card of this location on top of this card. If it's gold or red, gain it, and then end your turn. Um, okay, so I get points for being with red or gold. Uh, Trig, he's a gray security. Um, you may move a gray or yellow from any location to this card. You may gain that card if you do end your turn. Okay. Helga, she's obsidian. Banish the card directly under this one if it was one of... If it was the only other card on this location, you gain one helium. That's not going to work right now. Uh, lawyer, uh, place one influence on the institute. And I get 22 points with the judge. There's no judge yet, so not a big deal. Um, and a musician, if, this, if the core value of each of your cards is an even number, I get 32 points. This is a 40-point card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work with this guy for now. Um, not too great because it's going opposite of what the Automa wants. I wish it was going... You know, I wish Ultima wanted even cards. It would mean they were going after the same thing, but we're not. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to start with... Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to take... Well, look at that. Look at Zanzibar. He actually wants you, it's the same value, still 40 points, but he wants odd cards. So I, I think that's a good one, actually. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this even card over the odd card here. And I'm going to take this even card, this odd card here, and I'm going to place one on the Institute. Okay. Um, so this one says, move a card with an even core value from this location to the top of another location. Okay, um, and I can go ahead and do that, and I'll just move the mod job over to this side. I would have done that before, then I would have taken that card from the Institute. Okay, uh, now it is the Automus, Automus turn. Okay. So first things first, he's going to go ahead and let me just flip these over. He's going to go ahead and place a card on B, so he's going to cover the musician, and then he's going to place a card or take a card here. He's going to take mod job, and then he's going to take the sovereign token, and he's going to take a helium. All right, he's already on his way. He's a fast moving dude, or she is rather. Okay, so she's going to place a card on B. Uh, she's going to take a card from here, same track, and then she's going to move her, move her up the fleet track. All right, so already doing better than me. All right, guys, so let's let's keep going, let's keep going. So now we're going to do this. Now we want to keep the odd cards. I'm keeping this card something to focus on for now. Um, well, let's look at the odd cards that are on the board. We have this one, which will allow you to reveal the top card of the deck, either banish it or place it on top of another location. At the end, reveal the top card of the deck, gain points equal to that card's core value. Oh, okay. Uh, not too bad. It'd be great if we got something like Morningstar. Uh, which actually I want to get down there, so I might just take it just to take it. Um, orange is fine, not a big deal, but you know what? Let's go ahead and try and slow down this Automa. So I'll just play Theodore there, and I'll take the Hacker. All right, I'm taking the Hacker, and that's going to move me up a Fleet Track, and that ends my turn. Okay. All right, so he's going to place one on Fleet and then take it, and then he's going to go ahead and move up Jupiter, or she, I keep saying he. All right, and the second Automa card is going to be an A. So place it on A, take it. Uh, it is an odd, so that's favor for them. And then they're going to banish a card. Uh, Quicksilver, and I'm actually just going to put it on top over here, out of view, 
can't see it, sorry. Okay, and that ends Automus' turn, so now it's my turn. Um, so I am on the way, I still have two, I have one even card that I do want to get rid of. There's nothing on the board that I like, um, except maybe swapping an even for an even, but this one says banish the card directly under this one. If it was the only other card on this location, gain one helium. Okay, that's not bad, so I'm going to go ahead and deploy this here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, of this card. Uh, so I'm going to banish it because it was the only other card in this location. Um, and I get a helium. All right. Good job, guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I don't like any of these. Um... You know what, I think I'll just take the top card, and then I'll roll this dice. And that means that I can reveal the top card of the deck and place it, not deploy it anywhere. Okay, so that is an odd card. Um, and deployed, uh, so for point wise, if you're the most advanced on the fleet track, or tied for the most, it's 16 points, making this card worth 35. Not bad, I don't want the Automa to get it. Uh, I don't think she's going to go for A again, so let's go and just pop that here on A. Okay, so right now this card I have is EO, uh, and when I do play EO, um, there is a variant that allows me to look at the six topmost cards of uh, Automos card and all uh, or all of them if she has fewer and check for red, then put the cards back down in the same order. Um, okay, um, I don't think she has any red guys, so it might be a good one to play. And again, I'm not collecting even, so not bad. Okay, so then it is her turn. So she's going to place a card on A. There's actually, yeah, okay, so placed on A. And then she's going to take a card from C. So she's going to take Helga, and then she's going to place token at the Institute. Okay, and the second card, she's going to place a card on A. Then she's going to take a card from Jupiter. Uh, and then set. Very nice. Okay, cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play this card. So I'm going to play this, okay? And I'm going to check the top six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see if she's got any reds. Um, if she doesn't, and they're going in the same order. So let's find out. No, sweet guys, no reds. So she's going to lose a helium. Cool. There you go, Atoma, take that. Okay, so I placed that, now let's see what we take. And again, we're looking for odds. Um, I like that Morning Star, and the Morning Star does uh, give you just 35 points. Not bad. Um, let's go and see if she'll take it. Um, for now, you know what? I do need it, but yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and take Antonia. Okay, that's going to move me up the fleet track. Alright, so let's go with it. He doesn't go for Jupiter, so he's going to place a card down at the Institute. Or she is. And she's going to take this card, an even card, and she's going to take Helium. Then the next thing she's going to do, she's going to place a card at Luna. And she's going to take a card from A, so same card. And then she's going to activate that again and take another Helium. Okay, cool. So now I can focus on getting that Morningstar card. Because um, I don't have any of those cards in my hand. Um, we're keeping that one. For 30, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Lawyer. The lawyer's kind of weak, so let's go ahead and get rid of the Lawyer. Uh, and I place one, in, one influence on the Institute. Okay, great. And then I'm going to take Morningstar, which is going to move me up here. Okay. Sweet, guys. So that's my turn. So now it is going to be this guy's turn, or her turn. All right, so she's going to place a card on C. Take a card on D. She can't. Or actually, she can. She'll take this one. I was looking at B. Okay, and then she's going to take a put a card on C. Look at all these reds coming out. And she's going to take a card from B, but she can't. So she's going to go this way, and she's going to take this card. And she's going to banish a card. Okay, she's banning... Payless, payless. All right, so it's my turn. 
Okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to do. Um, I don't like any of these, but I don't like this one either. Okay. So I'm going to place this on hacker. And it says, reveal the top card of the deck. Either banish it or place, not deploy, on top of another location. So this is another odd card. Uh, so 28 points with the Violet. That's not bad. That's 35 points if I just grab her with Zandabar. Everything is odd here. Not looking good for me. So I'll just go ahead and place this on Mars. Um, so I did place that. Now it's my turn to pick a card up. Uh, and where am I going? I think I need... To keep ahead of the game. She's ahead of me on helium. Um, I think I'm going to take uh, the administrator. Okay. And that's going to give me another influence on the influence track. Now I don't want her because she wants me to focus on having the least amount of influence. Um, I don't. I'll think about that. Okay. So let's keep going. So she's going to place a card on C. Take a card from A. Uh, oops, you know what? I keep doing that. My bad. Um, so she's going to place a card on A. Take it from here. So she's going to take that card. And then she's going to banish a card. Okay. And then she's going to place a card on B. Take it from the Institute. Okay, so she's taking that lawyer. Okay, not bad. One, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, um... Well, let's see. What do we want to do? You know what? Where is that card? There you go. Uh, the Hollow Designer. That's the card I wanted. So I'm going to place this at the Institute, and then I'm going to take this card. Take a Helium. Okay. So that's going to end my turn. It is her turn again. So she's going to place a card on C. Take a card from Mars, and then she's going to get a helium. All right, and the next thing she's going to do, she's going to place a card on A, take it, and that ends her turn. So now it's my turn again, and um, I want to try and get up that fleet track as fast as possible. Um, Well, let's see. Let's see. I like Glorn. That's an easy 35. And you know what? It's, thing is better. I think it's better than Antonia. Oh, but he's an even. He's even. I don't. I don't want that. Just that's 40 points that I'd like to have. And that goes there with that. Keep them together for the for the green and the violet. Um, let's get ahead. Let's go ahead and get rid of Trig. Okay, so we'll place Trig here and then move the gray or yellow from any location to under this card. Gray or yellow from any location, and there aren't any. Um, okay, and so then I'm going to go ahead and gain. Uh, let's go ahead and just take Alfron for now. Um, and that's gonna move me up the fleet track. Okay, now it is her turn. So she's gonna place a card on D. Take it from C. All right. She's gonna place a card on Luna. She's gonna take a card from B, and then she's gonna move up Jupiter. Okay. Um, Obsidian or Mustang? Are there any Obsidians on there? Because that's 35 points as well. Um, I'm not a big fan of any of these, but just for the sake of trying to make her life hard, uh, let's go ahead and pop that there, and we'll take the administrator again. And that's going to... Um, that's going to pop me there. Okay, so it's her turn. So she's going to place a card on Mars and take it back. Which that was a uh, an odd card, and then she's going to gain a helium. And then her last card, she's going to place a card on Jupiter. 
uh, take a card from A, and then uh, she's going to gain helium. So she's on a roll for that helium. Okay, uh, it is my turn. Mm. So I do have the most helium, uh, or the most influence, so the administrator's not going to do me any good. Um, so you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of her. Uh, we'll place her here, and then we'll take Harmony, and we'll take a helium. Okay, that way she can lose helium. And then let's go ahead and shuffle up the AI cards. Um, a little bit about this game. It's okay. It's not a great game, um, but uh, lately I've been playing a little bit of a little bit more solo games, a little more focused on that. Um, not in love with it. Definitely not in love with it, but I don't hate it. Um, it's something I'd play. Although Automa is pretty damn good. Okay, so we'll get rid of four cards, and then it is her turn. Okay, so she's gonna place a card on A. Uh, and then take a card from A. Okay. And then she's going to place a card on B. And then take a card from B. And then she's going to move up the Jupiter track. Okay. Um, I am... Invictus is here. Uh, so I do want that guy. 35. He's a good one. Um, so I am going to go ahead and place Harmony there. And your opponent of your choice loses one card. So it's going to be uh, our, our friend there. Okay, um, and then I will go ahead and take Invictus. Okay, and Invictus is going to give me a Helium. All right. Okay, it is her turn. So she's going to take D. She's going to place a card here in Mars, take it, and then she's going to gain a Helium. Okay, and then she's going to place a card on A, take it, and then she's going to banish a card. So lots of, uh, lots of her doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so now it's my turn. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I've deployed on Jupiter, advanced once on the fleet. Okay, I think I might do that. Um, I'm not afraid of losing Morningstar, but also I don't want Antonia. Uh, but you know what? Let's go and do this, guys. I'm going to place her here, and I'm going to take Harmony back, and then I'm going to move up the fleet track. Uh, what she does is choose an opponent, they may banish one of their cards, then banish Antonia. Okay, um... I'm going to go ahead and choose her, and if I remember correctly, she's going to lose one from the bottom of her deck, or is it the top? Let's see. Let's see. Bottom card. Okay, so she's gonna gain bottom card. Okay. So she banished it and Antonia is banished. Okay, so that's that. I removed up the fleet track. Um I kinda wanna end the game soon because I'm pretty close I'm ahead of uh, the Automa in a lot of ways, but let's see what she does. So she's gonna place a card on A, take one from C. And then she's going to place a card at the Institute, or a token. And then she's going to place it, take it, place it, and then she's going to activate it down. She's going to get helium. And she is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 helium. So she's close. Okay, so now it is my turn, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? I, I, I like where I'm going with this. So I'm going to do Harmony. Uh, she's going to lose Helium, then I'm going to take Eo, um, and that's going to gain me Institute. So now I am at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at the Institute. Okay, uh, It is her turn, so she's going to go ahead and deploy on C, Lysander, and she's going to take from D. Okay, Then she's going to go ahead for her second turn, she's going to place at the Institute, take it, and then she's going to take place one of her tokens. Now she is tied for last place because she's got three and the neutral player has three. Uh, so she's at least going to get two points per that. So that's six points there. Um, so, okay. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and play EO again. Uh, I will play EO at the Institute. At this point, I'm just trying to make her lose points, guys. Um, so EO's at the Institute. Uh, and so I'm going to look at the top six cards. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And if she doesn't have any red, um, which she does not, she loses a helium. Nice. Okay, and then I'm going to take Harmony, which is going to move me up to Fleet Track. Now I've got seven. Um, okay. Uh, right, so that's my turn. Okay, so she's going to place a card on Luna. Okay, and she's going to take a... Um, huh, yeah, and then she's going to take a card from B. Uh, B is here, she's going to take Administrator, and then she's going to move up Jupiter. Then her second turn, she's going to place a card on C. She's covering up EO, that's okay. She's going to take a card from B, and then she's going to banish a card. Okay. Now, it is getting close to the end for me because I'm at seven. Let's see. Um, so I do have seven there. I have four helium and I have one, two, three, four, five at the Institute. Um, okay, so let's go and place Harmony here. She's going to lose a helium. Uh, and then I'm going to take, uh, let's see. Um... Yeah, let's take Roke. Uh, and then place a token at the NC. So now we're at six. I think next turn I'm going to end it because that's the only way to beat this Automa. Okay, so it's her turn. She's going to place a card at A and take it, and then she's going to banish. Then she's going to place a card on B, take the card from here, and then she's going to gain helium. She's at four helium. Now, is there anything we can gain that's better? Um, I don't think so, guys. Um, it's not looking good for me. So I think what I'm going to do is, since she's pretty far back, I'm going to go ahead and drop Roke back here, and I'm going to take this. Okay, and that's going to give me Helium. Um, I won't get 20 points for him because I don't have Mustang and I don't have an Obsidian. But let, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's her turn. She's going to place on D. And she's going to take from C. Okay. And then she's going to place on D. Take from C. And then place Token at the Institute. Okay. Um, you know what, guys? I'm going to drop him here, and then I'm just going to take Fletcher. Uh, the reason being that uh, that's a guaranteed 25 points. So take a Helium, and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so now it's her turn. So she's going to place on Mars, take it from A, and then she too is going to gain a Helium. And then she's going to place on C, take from Mars, and then also take another helium. So she's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And just to make sure, yes, okay, that is correct. Okay, so this is my last turn, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and scout. Um, I like what I have, and I don't see anything better. Um, but... Let's count how many banished cards there are, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, because the reason I ask is she'd be worth 30. But you know what? That's that's a risk. So I'm just going to go ahead and take one card. And I'm just going to go ahead and scout. Uh, and I'm going to deploy it. Um, I don't think it really matters. But looking at this, is going to give me an extra six points. That right there would only give me an extra four points. So, yeah, let's go ahead and drop this baby on Jupiter, pushing me up there. Now it's her final turn. I think I may have won, guys. First game that I win. So she's going to go to the Institute, take from A, and she's going to gain a Helium. Lucky her. And then she's going to go ahead and place on Jupiter, take from Jupiter, and then move up the fleet track. All right, guys. So let's see what happens now. All right, so let's go ahead and do her first. Okay, so she is playing 
uh, the odd cards. Okay, so she does get ba a base 70. And then let's go ahead and count. We're looking for odd cards, odd cards, guys. Okay, so we'll just separate them. So that's even, odd, even, 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 odd, even, odd, odd, even, even, odd, 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 even, odd, odd, even, even, odd, even, even, odd, even, even, odd, even, 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 odd, even, odd. Wow. So let's go ahead and see how many how many uh, odd cards she has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so that's going to be 16 times 5. We're playing on easy. And let's just make sure we didn't miss any odds in here. No, okay, so she's got 1, 2, 3, 4, so we're going to just take the top 4. It doesn't matter. That has to be four, and I think it's four times, let's see, four, an easy game. Non-matching is two. So, uh, so four times two, okay? So we'll add that up in a bit, okay? On the fleet track, she got to 21. Uh, helium, she has three, six, seven times three is 21. She got 10 for the sovereign. And then here, she got one, two, three, four. Uh, so 4 times 2 is 8. She's got 0 for that. Okay. We'll add it up at the end, guys. Fingers crossed. Now we're going to do me. Uh, I don't have any uh, end game scoring. Okay. So that's 0. So that's 0 for that. And then what I like to do is I like to add them up separately. So 25 plus uh, 35. We're looking at... Um, what are we looking at? Uh, 60. 60. Uh, 79. Uh, 86. Uh, 86 and 95, 95 from the base. Okay, and now let's count the bottom ones. So I get 31 if each of your cards has an odd number, which they do. Okay, so that's 31. 28 plus, if it's with a violet, so that is 59. Okay, uh, so that's 59. Uh, and then 16 if I'm the most advanced, which I am. Okay, so we were at uh, 59 plus 16, uh, 60, that's 75. Okay, so 75, nothing here, and I don't lose anything. So 75, right? Yes, 75 points here. Okay, so that's going to put me at 170. Okay, um, and then on the fleet track, I am at 34. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 3 is 18. I get nothing for there. And on the Institute Influence, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4 is 24 points. Zero there. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. 170 uh, plus 34 is 204. 204 plus 18 uh, is 222. Okay. And then 222 plus 24 is 246. So 246 points. Let's see what she got. So 16 times 5, uh, um, that is 180 plus 8, so that's 88 points. Okay, so 70 plus 80 is 150, plus 21 is 171, plus another 21 is 192, plus 10 is 202, and then plus 8 is 210. Not bad, guys, but here, let's go in and figure something out real quick. Let's say we were playing our normal, okay? 16 times 6, and guys, I'm, I'm, I've lost my math ability. So, 16 times 6, right? Plus 12, right? So that's 108 plus um, 70 base plus 42 for the fleet and the... Helium plus 10 for the sovereign plus 8. So she would have gotten 238 on normal. And, you know, honestly, there's no change in terms of what happens uh, when you play on normal easy. Um, it's just the points change for her. So I think, yeah. Um, I think that's good, guys. 
not not too shabby. I, I this is my first time winning, so sweet. I think I figured it out, guys. Just go fast, move fast, and you know, hurt her the most. So awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.